diary. I remember that day when we were stuck in school and we were all telling ghost stories. And the, and the hairy hand still haunts the moor today. Ooh. I bet you're lying, Laura. Who's telling the next story? I will. Okay. Pass the torch down to Becky. Thank you, Becky. Start whatever you want, Bex. Can you hurry up? I'm bored. <coughs> what was that noise? What was that loud noise? Are you okay, Theo? Yes, yes, yes. Story, please, Becky. Well, there was a family who lived on the moor, and there was a ghost hunt that bit and killed everyone. <laughs> ah! Stop, stop, please. Okay, I will, scaredy cat. I'll tell the next scared. story. What's it going to be about? The ghost who haunts Prince Town. I bet that's not even a true story. Yeah, that's not a true story, Theo. Pass down the torch me, I've got a real story. <laughs> it all happened over a century ago. A young girl had landed on Earth in the heart of Devon. Unusual. She was said to be an alien from a faraway galaxy searching the moors for a precious stone called quartz. After many weeks searching, the alien discovered a rare glowing quartz was being kept in the town museum. It was protected by two local guards. The alien knew that retrieving the quartz could be dangerous, so before setting off for the museum, she reportedly buried a precious amulet somewhere in the forest. She then headed for the museum, secretly planning tactics for getting past the well-protected front door. Just as she was laying her green hands on the beautiful glowing quartz, the guards jolted awake and the alien was caught and arrested. The alien was taken to Dartmoor prison and left there to rot. The locals were suspicious of the young girl and believed her to be some kind of supernatural monster. She never went back to her home planet and she died in prison within the matter of years. Our new member of our class, make her feel welcome, please. Yeah. Understand? Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Sasha. Yes. 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 Why are you drinking? 
looking for the fire extinguisher. Quartz is right, she's a nutcase. I heard that she actually likes doing homework. And I heard she eats sugar cube sandwiches for lunch. Oh, I heard that she had a slug in her pack for lunch. Like, joking! Are you actually? No. no. What a weirdo. Yeah, you weirdo. Weirdo! 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 <laughs> Guys, stop. I think we made her upset. Look, now she's crying. I think we're being too harsh on the new girl, but she's weird. So, I agree with Lucy, we should be friends with her. Right, Rox? Yeah, I suppose. Well, it's not really her fault she's a bit weird. But she's green. But she can still be our best friend if she's, if she's a little bit weird. Right, it's official, we're friends with her, would you say? Okay. okay. We have to. That's what I want to hear. What? What are you doing? I'm hungry and this is delicious. You're, You're not, not a sheep. sheep! Anyway, forget her. What were we talking about again? The amulet. I was Googling it all night. I read online somewhere. I think it was buried in the heart of Belava. I reckon it's got to be a hag troll. Really? Yeah, really. I heard somewhere that it's got to be something alien-like, but I, I don't. I have no idea. We have to find out. What are you talking about? We're going on an amulet hunt. Did you say amulet? Yeah. Want to come? Yeah. Take me with you. Let's just get on with finding Miss Amulet. <laughs> it's so spooky in here. And there's twigs everywhere. You do know we're in a forest, right? Mm. Where is that amulet? Mm. I'm not digging up any more spots. We've been looking for ages. Well, maybe it's not buried underneath the ground. Maybe it's up the tree. There's no way it's going to be up there. Well, do you want me to try and climb the tree to find out? You're not a person who climbs trees, Roxy. Plus, it definitely isn't going to be up there, is it? It will hardly fall from the sky. It's obviously buried underneath the ground. Maybe somebody planted a tree above the amulet. Something's glowing beneath the ground. Get digging then. We found it. We've really found it. Are you sure it's not just a rock? Yeah, it is covered in mud. Let's go down to the river and see. Wow! Wow, look at it! It's glowing! We're going to be famous! No, we're not. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, look. Careful! <laughs> this is it. This fixes everything. What? It's a Victorian alien. Do you remember her story? It's real. The Victorian alien came here all that time ago looking for crystal quartz to cure a disease that plagued our home planet for years. Before she got captured, she buried the sacred amulet so it didn't fall into the wrong hands. It allows those that wear it to time travel. Wow! How do you know? She's my ancestor and I have been tasked to return it to my home planet. 
No one has been able to time travel since. That's my home, planet Zork. It's several light years away. It took me nearly three years to get here, and I've had terrible travel sickness, and the landing was a bit bumpy. But now it's finally time for me to go home. But why? We've only just made friends with you. Please don't go. Mm. We've only just realised that we don't mind you. Don't go. I have to. 